So welcome to the UMI module workshop. Uh, for this workshop, we're going to be making a very simple module. It's going to be performing a simulation, so to speak, but that simulation will be very rudimentary. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate building occupancies that are better than the built-in building occupancies that UMI has. So this is not really a simulation in the normal sense. All we're going to be doing is multiplying some numbers by each other, but it will go through the whole process of how you build up a properly simulating module as an example. And because we're using Rhino Common, everything we're gonna do is starts in Visual Studio. So I have my Visual Studio installed here. Just go ahead and open it up. And I will create a new project. And since you installed the module, or yeah, the UMI module temple, template earlier in Visual Studio, if you type UMI in this project type box, you should have this UMI module. So I'll go ahead and double click that. We're gonna call our module better occupancy. Now, it doesn't really matter where you put it as long as you remember it, because we're going to need it later. Uh, I'm gonna put it in a directory on my computer called Git, uh, just in the C drive. You can put it wherever you want. Just remember where that somewhere is and leave everything else the same and go ahead and hit create. And what Visual Studio is doing on your behalf is creating all the you know, C-sharp code that is necessary to create our first module. And it's actually pre-populating some things that are gonna make this work effectively out of the box to start, which is a great way to get started. Okay. Visual Studio created all my files. Uh, here's our solution file. Here's our solution, our project file, and all the files within the project. I'm going to open up the project file and give it a, my plugin a name. Umi Better Occupancy Demo. Okay. I'll save that. Go ahead and launch Rhino 7 using the green button. Like I said, Rhino takes a little longer to launch than it usually does. Uh, this is because Visual Studio is attaching debugger. And now that it's loaded, if I run the plugin manager command to see my installed plugins in Rhino, and I set it to plugins that do not ship with Rhino, it's not there. Why is that? Well, that's because we didn't actually install the plugin. This is something that you have to do the first time when you're developing an UMI module. Just like with any other plugin, you need to install it so Rhino can see it. So that's why I said you needed to know the location of your project that you created. So I put mine in Git and created the better occupancy demo. So what I do is I open it up and I go through the folder. So I go into umi.betteroccupancydemo. This is the project folder. I go into bin debug net 48, and then I have some files. And one of those files you'll notice is an RHP. This is a Rhino plugin file. You might have the Rhino uh, plugin icon here. You might not. I don't. Uh, but this is my, my plugin that I just made. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it into Rhino the same way you'd install any other plugin. Okay. And now if I go to my plugin manager and I see my list of installed plugins, I see my, my better occupancy demo right here. Okay. We can see it in UMI too. Uh, I don't have the UMI. Uh, taskbar that many of you probably do. That's a quirk of my environment because I do a lot of UMI development. Um, so I use UMI commands to get around UMI, but the taskbar buttons will work too. So I'm going to load up my UMI window. I'm going to make an UMI project and I get this warning. Uh, apparently my model unit system is not set to meters. UMI has to run in meters mode, so I will cancel this so I can change that. If you didn't get that warning, you can skip this step I'm doing right now. Let's change this to meters. Okay. Now I'll open UMI again, create a new project. I'm gonna reuse this existing UMI pro project I was using before. This was my preparation project. So I'll just say save and yes, replace. But you can create whatever you want here. You can put it wherever you want. And I have a new empty project. Okay, no buildings, nothing. But if I open uh, one of the UMI panels here, I'm gonna use open building settings. Okay. And I go to my modules list 
and get this smiley face. This is our new module. You see it just says example module. We haven't given it a good name. Uh, we can click on it. It's got a very rudimentary panel, and I'll be going through the parts of this in more detail. Uh, but we have our little smiley face, and this module even kind of does some things. If I, for example, make a building, okay, and I give it a template assignment, let's make an office building. And I, I like changing to ghosted. I think it is the easiest to work with. And I go back here. Once I select this, you'll see there are 37 building occupants. And that actually matches what's here. This is the same number that UMI has calculated. It's just in this panel too. There's also a button. It says run the example command. And if you run, if you click this button, you will see it ran a command called UMI example module command. And this is what the command did. It just printed out, hello, UMIverse. This project has one visible building. So that's what this prepackaged module does out of the box. Uh, it creates this module with the panel. Uh, the panel has some text. We have a command. The panel will run the command. Uh, this name still needs to be updated, but we have basic UMI functionality. And in our next few sections, we will learn how to extend this and make it do things we want.